Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rwana. Today is the 2nd of December 2020. We're going to reflect on Matthew 15, 29 to 37. Listen. After Jesus had left that place, he passed along the Sea of Galilee, and he went up the mountain where he sat down. Great crowds came to him, bringing with them the lame, the maimed, the blind, the mute, and many others. They put them at his feet, and he cured them, so that the crowd was amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the maimed whole, the lame walking, and the blind seeing, and they praised the God of Israel. Then Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for the crowd, because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat, and I do not want to send them away hungry, for they might faint on the way. The disciples said to him, where are we to get enough bread in this desert to feed so great a crowd? And Jesus asked them, How many loaves have you? They said, Seven and a few small fish. Then ordering the crowd to sit down on the ground, he took the seven loaves and the fish, and after giving thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all of them ate and were filled, and they took up the broken pieces left over, seven baskets full. The Gospel of the Lord. I know that every now and then, especially during great struggles, we feel that God doesn't care. If you are feeling like that now, today's reflection is for you. We see Jesus cares for our needs. He has compassion for our spiritual needs, which are eternal in their consequences. This is why Jesus preached as he did to the thousands in this story. He also has compassion for our physical needs, which are lifelong in their consequences. This is why he healed everybody who was sick. And he even cares about our need for sustenance, which is why he thought of feeding them after preaching and ministering to the crowds. There are quite a few lessons to be learned from what happens here, so let us reflect upon it. Jesus calls his disciples to him and says, I have compassion for the crowd because they've been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry, for they might faint on the way. Why is he telling them this? He obviously does not need their advice, so his reasons have to be something else. What? Could it be that he wanted to see if they would tell him that he could feed them miraculously, just like he was curing them miraculously? But they say, how? There isn't enough bread to feed so many. One can almost sense Jesus' disappointment. After all the time they spent with Jesus and all the miracles they had seen him work, including feeding people miraculously on another occasion, they were still thinking naturally and not supernaturally. But Jesus tries again. So how much bread do you have, he asks. Just seven loaves, they say, and a few fish. One imagines him waiting for a moment, hoping they will remember how he had multiplied bread and fish not too long before, but they don't. So he sighs and works his miracle again. What do we learn from this? We learn that we shouldn't forget what God does for us because as long as we keep forgetting, we will never grow in faith. God is present in our lives all the time, especially during our struggles. Unfortunately, we don't seem to realize this, which is why we begin to despair and doubt and our faith wavers and weakens. Going forward, let us remember that God is with us and that there is nothing he cannot do and he cares enough to do it. God bless you.